Hi students, welcome. In today's class, we are discussing about how to draw tangent and normal for both parabola and hyperbola. So before that, so construction of parabola and hyperbola already you know by using eccentricity method. In last videos, we have discussed it. Okay. So first, the basics, how to draw parabola and hyperbola by using eccentricity. Then we go for how to draw tangent and normal. Okay. Let's go. So you know well the eccentricity E equal to 1 that is parabola. The eccentricity E is greater than 1 is nothing but hyperbola. So you know that the eccentricity is nothing but the distance between vertex to focus to the vertex to directrix. Here also same. So and one more thing you know that focus is nothing but the fix, fixed point on the axis that is called focus. Next one is axis is nothing but it is an imaginary line passing through that any planes or solids or anything whatever it is maybe that is called axis. Next directrix it is a fixed line. The vertex V stands for the curve where it is intersecting on the axis that is called vertex V. So once again, directrix is nothing but a fixed line. Axis is nothing but okay, a, uh, imaginary line and it is perpendicular to directrix. Next one is focus is nothing but fixed point. Vertex is nothing but vertex is nothing but a curve where it is intersecting on the curve axis. Clear. So, either it is elliptical curve or parabola or hyperbola, whatever it may be, the curve where it is it is intersecting on the axis that is called vertex. Right. So, today class, just recall that how to draw parabola by using eccentricity method. You know that the E value is 1 for parabola. So, they given the directrix to focus the distance they given 50 mm. Therefore, first you draw directrix line, then axis, then directrix to focus is 50 mm. From here to here, 50 mm. This is focus. And one more thing you know, the distance is directrix to vertex is equal to vertex to focus. It is equal. Therefore, it is exact middle that is called vertex V because V of distance is equal to V directrix, V D distance. Clear. Next thing, you know, you draw one line perpendicular to axis and parallel to directrix passing through V. Next to V of distance is equal to V Y and V Y distance, V Y dash. Then you draw a line from point D and passing through Y, similar case from D passing through Y dash. Then from vertex V, you draw n number of lines, equidistance lines. You assign the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. Similar case 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, etc. Similar case 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, like that. Next you take compass, you know the hint already. So from 1 to 1 dash as the radius, 1 to 1 dash as the radius, F as the center, common center, intersect arc 100, 1 dash, 1 dash line. Next to 2 to 2 dash as the radius, F at the center, intersect arc 100, 2 dash, 2 dash, like that. So, intersection points you know. So, after that you join all the points. So, the points called letter P, it is nothing but <coughs> locus points. Okay. So, all the locus points you join including V. So, we get that's one clear so it is parabola so parabolic cross section practical applications where for example any tv telecast dishes are there the two wheeler headlamps is there or otherwise from any one some trajectory for example a fish or dolphin okay it's jumping on that okay water surface so that also or otherwise the missile launching so the from starting points it reaches the maximum altitude then it's reach so therefore, from the distance is okay, starting point, ending point, middle, the latitude distance is same. Clear, yeah, that's one. So this is the parabola. 
similar procedure same ditto procedure only one difference the vd distance is maximum sorry the vd distance is minimum maximum in ellipse vd distance minimum in hyperbola so therefore this is maximum focus to vertex divided by directrix to vertex is minimum clear so maximum by minimum is always greater than 1 therefore for hyperbola same ditto procedure directrix axis you know the directrix to focus distance next focus to vertex distance is the maximum three times when compared to directrix to vertex you draw one vertical line vf how much is the same distance here and here that is y y dash this is called asymptotes from v ditto procedure you draw n number of equidistance lines 1 2 3 4 like that 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 1 to 1 dash has the radius f as the center intersect arc on that 1 dash 1 dash 2 to 2 dash has the radius f as the center intersect arc on that 2 dash 2 dash, like that so finally you join all the points including vertex so this one is hyperbola okay so this curve is hyperbolic hyperbolic cross section application practical applications is for any cooling towers profile or otherwise any chimney smoking chimney draughts chimney so many and flower wash etc clear yeah, that's all. so this is parabola this one is hyperbola clear yeah. so today topic is how to draw tangent and normal for both parabola and hyperbola clear yeah. you know that basics so first parabola just imagine so everything is over finally we got parabola this one okay so first same procedure already in last video we have completed okay so how to draw a tangent or normal for ellipse ditto procedure hundred percent same procedure here also okay so same three cases are there one is for anywhere on the curve from directories distance on the curve next one is from axis distance on the curve clear right so for example first one is anywhere so anywhere means i am consider the point m on the curve anywhere on the curve either it is the top side or bottom side anywhere our wish same procedure you join f and m by using draft scale you join f and m by using same okay, you draw perpendicular line from f that perpendicular line where it is intersecting on the, intersecting on that directrix that is called tangent t starting so then you join t and m that is tangent t t dash perpendicular line for t t dash passing through m it is nothing but n n dash it is normal clear so first anywhere on the curve one more for example, anywhere on the curve, the, let us consider it is point, point M. You join M. You join F and M. Then you draw a perpendicular line of F, M from F. That is very important. From F. That is perpendicular line. So that is T. Then you draw straight line from t passing through m that is called tangent t t dash then perpendicular line of t t dash passing through m is nothing but n n dash it is normal clear that's one ditto procedure hyperbola hyperbola this one is same directrix axis this one is vertex V, this one is focus F, you know that, okay, finally you got hyperbolic curve, big one, clear. Then, you know, ditto, so this is 
point M, you join F and M perpendicular line from F. It is intersecting on the direct axis T. You draw a straight line T T dash that is called tangent perpendicular line N N dash like that. So similar procedure anywhere. Similarly, from directrix means from here to here the distance. For example, 30, 30 mm or 40 mm means that the distance is 40 mm. From this end to that end is 40 mm. This distance is 40 mm. So from directrix the 40 mm where it is coincide on that curve or intersecting on the curve here. So this point let us consider m. So the distance is 40 mm. So therefore, specifically you want to mention here only either it is a top side or otherwise bottom side. In problem specifically they mention 40 mm from that is means here to here the horizontal distance is 40. For example, 20 mm from axis means this is the axis 20 mm from axis means vertical distance. So this is 20 mm distance therefore the 20 mm distance that is coincided or intersecting on that axis here. So this distance is 20 therefore this point you consider as M. After that same procedure FM perpendicular T tan tangent line perpendicular normal line similar procedure clear right okay students for you follow that same procedure you draw tangent and normal anywhere on the curve or from directrix or from focus on the parabola and hyperbola. So for any doubt, please contact me or like that videos, please share to our friends and comments me. Thank you.